my name's Andrew Duncan. I've been ill now for quite a while. I was delayed in the year 2000 with uh, delayed cardiomyopathy. Slightly later that year, I was diagnosed with uh, heart failure. It's uh, familial. A large number of uh, family members have had to have uh, heart transplants. My father died when he was 40 of the same condition, uh, severe heart failure. Both my kids have the dominant gene that causes the delayed cardiomyopathy. My life's just on hold. It's always pretty regimented. It's always pretty much the same. There's the other side of it where I've never been able to run. So I'd like to get the kids out and go swimming with them more. And it would also give me a chance to be there at important times of their lives. But over the years, you always have to watch the money. We did have some savings, but because we never had my LVAD for it, we had to spend a year in, in Newcastle, basically. You know, before you knew it, everything was gone. If I ever have to stay for such a long time again, because there's no way we could financially do it, really. Every time the phone rings, this is the call. Especially at night, I would always be very wary. What's that? Is that Newcastle? There was always the chance that that I mightn't receive a donor. Ultimately, obviously, that could that could mean my death. What we have to think about is the number of people that are registered. For me, the, 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 to get the highest uh, registration of people on the organ donor register is to have uh, an opt-out system. Organ donation itself, it's the greatest gift that, that anybody can offer someone else. 